Hey everyone, my name is Bobby. Welcome back to the Everyday Family YouTube channel, where we help make every day with your family a little bit better. Today, we are adding on to our patio extension creation backyard playground. We really, really love what we've done with the backyard. We've done a lot of great things. We added the playground, we added the grill, we added the seating area, we added the landscaping. There's just one piece, one little piece that's been missing. Today, we're adding that piece. We're adding this piece. Today, we're adding on to our outdoor kitchen with something that I am very excited about and I know a lot of people are getting into, and that is a smoker. Now, when you think of a smoker for an outdoor kitchen, you probably think of something like a big green egg or a Komodo Joe. Well, those are pretty darn expensive and they take a little bit of practice and skill and time and well for the everyday family that just may not be in the cards so we've got an alternative for 350 bucks or cheaper if you can find it on Facebook marketplace which I was able to find a couple here in town but went ahead and got the new one that way I'd make sure that it was treated well by me make sure I got all the parts and so I could do an unboxing video for you that's what today is let's unbox the Weber Smoky Mountain Smoker Grill let's get after it so why did we choose the Weber Smoky Mountain well, first issue, when we built the kitchen, we didn't leave a whole lot of space for a big, large smoker, whether it be a side-by-side -side or a kettle. So, I had to come up with something different. The Weber Smoky Mountain fit that perfectly. Because of the tube shape and the fact that it goes up rather than out, it allows me to put it in the space that I'm hoping to put in between the table that this is currently that I'm sitting at and the grill over there. So it can tuck away for the times we're not using it, because this isn't going to be an everyday grill. This is going to be a grill for special occasions and for the occasional, uh, I just want to smoke some meat, because, you know, smoking meat's fun. So, that's why we chose this one. Price point's pretty good. 350 bucks for a 18 inch grill. Uh, they can go to 22, they can go to 14, price varies based on the size. Uh, this was also available at Home Depot when I wanted to buy it. So, those are the two main reasons, space and price. Now I am not a professional grill master, I am not a pit master or smoke master, any of the things you want to say. I am the everyday family dad. So I'm going to be learning and hopefully helping you learn along the way. So let's get into the box, find out what's in there and uh, see if we can put this thing together. I don't know, we'll find out what happens. Let's go. One. Two, three, got the legs and the hardware, probably should make sure we have this. Water fan. Cover. Bottom. Now, if you're like me, you sometimes just like to dive right into these things. A lot of times that can get you into trouble. So, I'm going to do a quick pass-through reading of the instructions. I'm pretty sure I have an idea of what it's going to need. Got to put some legs on, put some handles on, and I think we'll be about ready to uh, have our first smoke. All right, so first noob mistake, that metal pan that I thought was going to be the watering pan, turns out that is a catch pan. It goes on the bottom. So, the instructions are actually pretty useless. There are none. Just gives you a picture. And the picture, I guess, is supposed to be how you figure out how to put it together. So, 
for somebody like myself who's not very good at this we'll see how it turns out hopefully fingers crossed we do okay hopefully my mistakes will uh you know help you avoid the making the same ones so anyway we're starting with putting the legs through there's a little slot there hard to see but there's a slot that these legs will go through and so once we get that on there which we've done just slides on in next up will be the uh, bottom base bin so let's move on to the next step all right, significant progress has been made. We have all three legs on. And we have also added our first grate. As well as our charcoal guard. Uh, this is gonna have three grates. If you're like me, you're trying to figure out which grate was which. The charcoal grate's gonna be a little bit darker a little bit smaller, a little bit more heavy duty than your cooking grates. So legs are on, grates are going in, and uh, we should be just about ready to finish putting this thing together. I think we're gonna take this off the table and do the rest of this on the ground. All right, next step, at least logical step for me was to get the grill guards or grill holders or however you wanna word them. The, uh, there's going to be four of these pieces in there. There's going to be four spots around the middle tube with two screw holes in each. We've gotten three in so far. And this will be the fourth. All right, moving on to the next step. And we're done. Here's your Smoky Mountain, Weber Smoky Mountain. Cushions are inside so they don't get wet. Got to come up with a solution for those. But the grill, the smoker will go right there in between this grill and this table, that fridge, trash can. And then when I want to use it, very easily take up the pieces, head outside to the patio, and we'll smoke out there. So that's it. That's the Weber Smoky Mountain, putting her together for the first time and uh, hopefully getting a cook on her here pretty soon. I'm not sure what we're going to do first. Probably some smoked chicken, make it a little bit easier. Start with something small and uh, then the plan is to definitely smoke a turkey. Now the main Thanksgiving turkey won't be smoked, but uh, I'm going to try to do a secondary turkey on this guy. So wish me luck. We'll check in with you soon and let you know how the first cooks go. Probably bring you along and uh, we'll see how much we succeed or fail, but we'll do it together. My name is Bobby. This is the Everyday Family YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching. We'll talk to you soon.